Now we're going to create a table with the milestone. So I'm going to add a new sheet here. I call Gantt because this is a Gantt chart. Basically, this one is a Gantt chart. Okay. Then I'm gonna click here and call it milestones, milestones. Okay. And I'm okay. Drag this. Okay. I think we have everything here. And here we are gonna type the date of this okay format cells set date you can have also more and have um, for example months and weeks okay instead of even dates okay and this can be not days but weeks you can also do this i want to keep it simple for the moment okay so here as you can see we have all these dates until the 9th of july so I'm going to do the following here. I'm going to type this one is plus one. And this one I'm going to do until the July the 9th. Okay, that's good. And this is date. And this is my, I call it my still like this. Okay, here it's uh, index of this where match this and this exactly okay I'm gonna find the one in this range where the date matches one of this if an A I'm gonna type nothing Okay, so I'm gonna drag this. You can see. Uh, I think there is, yeah, here has to be absolute reference. I always forget this. Okay, this one, this one, this one, this one. Always absolute reference. Okay, you see now I have my. Part. And then I'm going to give, I call eight height. Then I'm going to give the height because I'm going to represent this chart in a way that I need to have different height for each for each milestone. So I'm going to say, for example, this is one, this is two, three, four, five. Again, three, four, five, three, four, two again, one, and this is three, like this. And then again, to create a graph out of it, okay, insert here a graph like this, where I'm going to, but I'm not going to show the chart title, okay. The axis, I'm going to show the horizontal only. Okay, so I'm going to do this. So you can see here the milestones. Okay, now I'm going to do the following. Then I'm going to create here another one, fake, or whatever you want. And here I have milestone. Okay, where we have uh, this is equal to if this is equal to empty, then I show NA. Otherwise, I'm going to show. Okay, that's good and here I'm going to give zero okay here we are okay now we're going to select the date okay and the fake part and we're gonna then I'm gonna add the city this part okay we created this and then I'm gonna do the following first of all the axis format axis number here is date and the type is like this okay that's good so that I have this in date format then 
I'm going to select the series. I'm going to click on change series data type. And for the height, I click on OK. We get this now. All right, so now I'm going to select this. OK, and then I'm going to for this the data labels the data labels and data labels here and I'm going to select this label options show the category name and not the value okay select data height here now then I'm going back to this I'm going to click on plus grid lines I'm not to show this and axis I'm not going to show the axis. the line that I created before this is the, the line I'm gonna say I'm going to do this one I'm gonna consider 100% percentage is 100% here we are and we get this the cap I'm going to check the cap we're gonna give square okay so we have this part now okay basically we are done now we're going to make it a bit larger Control A milestones. I'm gonna create here another the new worksheet and then this is dashboard. Okay. When I'm gonna cut this and put it in the dashboard. Here we are. So we are starting to create our dashboard. Now here I'm gonna select this, put it all in this color, like this. I'm gonna create our dashboard. Okay, the same is okay. We can also decide not to show the values here. Okay, data labels, more options for this one, label option. something like this okay and we have our first chart in our project management dashboard